Hello, vinyl community, and cheers to you. Sometimes you just want water. <laughs> um, so I was going to wait to do this because um, I have some other items coming in the mail, but I actually picked up um, enough stuff today to, to warrant a video now. <laughs> so I have some books, uh, just a few CDs, and a couple of records. Now, before I get into it, uh, you'll either want to stick around till the end or just skip to the end because I had a pretty epic find at the thrift store um, the other day. I, it just blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, so either stick around or just skip to the end. Uh, it's up to you. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll get to the books first. Um, this, this might be a duplicate. <laughs> it looks vaguely familiar, but I don't know. Maybe I just saw it online. I don't know. Uh, but my book collection is to the point where, um, you know, I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> but, as you probably know, I'm a big Sammy Hagar fan. And, uh, so this is Red, My, Uncen my Uncensored Life in Rock. Um, Sammy Hagar with Joel Selden. So, very, very cool. <clears throat> I, I'm pretty sure I don't have it. I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe you want to see some pictures here. <laughs> this one here is interesting. Uh, that's a portrait of Sammy Hagar by Annie Leib Leibovitz. Is that it? The famous... Uh, uh, portrait photographer of celebrities. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yes. Red. Um, <clears throat> Steven Tyler. Does the noise in my head bother you? A rock and roll memoir. Now we're getting into a couple really interesting ones. Uh, Freddie Mercury by Peter Freestone with David Evans, an intimate m memoir by the man who knew him best. So, uh, yeah, very cool find. And this one, um, it it's... It's ever so slightly, not really crusty, but it, it you know... It could be in better condition, but <laughs> this is a pretty cool find. Um, Saucer Full of Secrets, The Pink Floyd Odyssey by Nicholas Schaffner. Um, and the quote here from the Chicago Tribune says, The best book around on this enduringly popular band. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool. That's a great find. All right, now on to the CDs. The first one, it's a band I'm only vaguely familiar with. I, I know I've heard songs by them on compilations, that sort of thing. Um, basically, alternative country, uh, old 97s. And this is Fight Songs. Not supposed to be one of their better albums, but uh, I figured I would pick it up anyway. And I don't know if it was a mistake or what, but... CDs have been uh, $2 at Savers. Um, but she only charged me a dollar each for these. Um, there's three CDs, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to uh, hear an actual album by them. <clears throat> this one, I have it on vinyl, but they're... They're still one of my favorite bands. Um, I'd probably put them, you know, certainly top 30 bands. Um, yeah. Mumford and & Sons. Um, and this is their second album, uh, Babel. Um, the song Lover of the Light. Oh, man. So good. But... Yeah, I, I do have it on vinyl, but it's definitely worth getting on CD as well. So there we go. 
Yeah, very good. And this one, oh my goodness. A shout out to all my monkeys, peeps. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to bother mentioning names because you know who you are. <laughs> um, yeah. The monkeys present Mickey, David, and Michael. So basically the monkeys minus Peter Tork. Um, I should research that and, and, uh, find out, you know, what the deal was there. Um, was he working on other projects? Was there a, a temporary falling out? Um, I don't know. Does somebody know? I would like to know. Uh, I was listening to this on the way home in the car. Um, I just got through the first few tracks. Um, and honestly, well, I had heard Little Girl. But other than that, uh, the next three or four songs, I wasn't really that familiar with them. So, and there's definitely a strong Michael Nesmith influence on this album. <laughs> definitely. All right, so that was the CDs. I'm getting through these very quickly. Um, the next, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying very hard to uh, add metal to my collection. Um, I'm also trying to collect um, one of my favorite bands. Um, and this was just insanely cheap. It was like $11 brand new on uh, Amazon. Uh, not all that familiar with the album, but um, yeah, <laughs> corn. So uh, this is the Serenity of Suffering, uh, featuring Rotting in Vain, Black is the Soul, and Take Me. Um, now I was heavy, heavy, heavy into corn um, with their first five or so albums. This one's from 2016, so it's, um, yeah, it's pretty darn recent. Um, and I know with some of their more recent stuff, <laughs> they started adding electronic elements. Um, I don't know if that was just on one album or, or if it made its way onto a, a few of their albums, but, um, they they borrowed some sounds from dubstep, <laughs> uh, which surprisingly fits their music really well. I so I'm still a huge fan of Corn. They're one of my favorite bands um, to this day. And to pick this up for eleven bucks, um, now it does have a hype sticker on it, so I want to leave it um, intact. But I am going to use the, the denim technique to uh, try and open this. Yes, that, that, works, that works pretty beautifully. Uh, there we go. There we go. That, yeah, that works quite well. Uh, first of all, there's... Now, this will be interesting to see. Um, once I get a good look at it myself. Uh, okay, so it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely not the, the original lineup. Um, it has a different drummer, uh, Ray Luzier. Um, Dave, uh, David, so, <laughs> I forget his last name, but David was the original drummer. Um, yeah, but all the all the other members are are uh, the original members, so that that's cool. Um, especially because uh, Brian Head Welch, um, I think for a time he left the band. Um, he he uh, basically found Christianity, and and so he he was kind of at odds with with uh, the, li the lifestyle they had been leading, you know, on, on the road, on tour, uh, as a band. And um, 
yeah, so I don't know if he, you know, if things change, I, I don't know the story. He actually wrote, a, he actually wrote a, a book and I, I do want to read it. Um, I'm just hoping it's not like preachy. I mean, I, I you know, I'm, I'm a spiritual person, but I, I don't like being preached to. Uh, anyway. Yes. Uh, so it looks like just black vinyl, and that's fine. That's fine. And we have the the black uh, donut hole sleeve, no liner. Um, it is torn on the bottom there. That's a pretty good tear, actually. <laughs> but that's fine, because I'm going to put it in a different sleeve anyway. So that doesn't matter. Um, yes. Very, very cool. Thrilled to add this to my collection, and I'll, I'll be glad to give it a first listen, actually. So, a nice cool insert. I'll put this set aside for now, because now we are down to the biggie. <laughs> yeah, I... I could not believe it. Um, I'm, I'm certain I gasped um, and this is this is a, a genre of music that I'm I'm dipping my toes into, um, but this is such it's such a classic classic album of the genre. Um, yeah, and I found it sealed. Are you ready? Naughty by nature. Now, I don't know. Um, I, I have concerns, first of all, that maybe this is a, a bootleg copy. There's, there's no signs for it being a bootleg, but um, I don't know. It, it, it seems... It, uh, too good to be true to find a still sealed copy of Naughty by Nature. <laughs> Featuring, of course, the huge, huge hit OPP. Um, yeah. Uh, this uh, this actually makes me think of uh, Super Wes. Um, he's he's another person that you wouldn't you wouldn't picture uh, liking hip hop or rap. But he does, and um, he he probably actually likes it more than I do. Um, I'm just, you know, as I said, I'm just dipping my toes into it. But my my second fear with this, to get back to that, um, assuming it's not a bootleg, which uh, I I think it's possible it's not a bootleg. I mean, the printing looks looks you know high quality. Um, everything on it looks legit to me the, my next concern is it looks like a reseal job um it is sealed but the way it's sealed you have a you have a seam right there um also you have the the sort of uh, overlap right there which would usually signify a reseal not necessarily but um, yeah, so, uh, I do have concerns. Now, I may never find out because, <laughs> uh, bear in mind, this cost me a dollar, and on Amazon, sealed, on vinyl, this is going for over $50. So, you know, that's pretty tempting. Um, I told myself, all right, I'll preview the album, and if I don't love it, then I'll just sell it. Well, I I kind of like it a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, so, I don't know. I'm torn. For now, it's staying closed. It's staying sealed. Um... Also, it has this little um, sort of price sticker. 
I assume it's like a handmade price sticker. Uh, it has 998 on it. And, you know, just assuming that maybe it was priced at $9.98. Yeah, but anyway, there you go. Uh, this was my, my big find. Um, I just wish I knew one way or, or the other if this was a legitimate, originally sealed uh, copy of the album or if it's just a reseal. Um, yeah. But nevertheless, for a buck, I can't go wrong. <laughs> and if I do, if I do sell it, I'll have made a huge profit. Um, of course, I mean, you know, something may be worth, or you may see a price online of something going for $50 or whatever. But the next question is, is someone actually going to buy it for that? <laughs> so, uh, if I have any offers, let me know. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but there you go. I'm, I'm very excited. Some good stuff to show you. I do have more stuff on the way. I did some deep, deep digging on Amazon. Um, but for now, that's it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Cheers. And I will see you next time.